the Convention Center here in Asheville, and I'm going to be covering, Glow well, Lady TV is going to be producing the Time for Our Power. It's a Southeast women, Women's Conference. Uh, you see the Time for Our Power, Time for Our Power. That is where you go to find out information. So you can see what all I'm going to be filming. Uh, there's going to be conferences, there's going to be speakers. Jane Fonda is lined up as the keynote speaker. I'm told that we can't get any video of her, so sorry about your luck. You're just gonna have to come down and see her live in person if you'd like to see it. I am up here in the editing room, and as you see around me, that's what you see around me. You guys are so used to seeing the control room, well now you see a little bit more. This is where we come to put the programs together, and that's what I am doing today. I'm in the studio, and I have some old footage that I have to give you guys something, and instead of just throwing anything together, I have some really good stuff for you today. How many of you know where your food comes from? And I'm not talking McDonald's or the grocery store, a box or a bag or something like that. How many of you know what's at a farmer's market? Do you know what you can find there? Well, that's what the purpose is of the show today. I've taken the video uh, a while ago and I was sitting on about 10 more minutes that I needed. And the person who I really, really, really wanted to, um, you know, add that 10 minutes, he's no longer with us. So that's why, one of the reasons why I've been just sitting on it. And with the scare that we have going on with the tomatoes, do you know where your tomatoes come from? Do you know who grows them? Do you know what they grow them in? Do you know what they put on them to grow big? Hmm, makes you really wonder. Well, if you go and check out your local farmer's market, you'll find all kinds of really good stuff. And you just never know when those farmers are going to be your only source of food. So, go to the farmer's market, see what all that they have there, and um, have a great time. And I'm sure that I'll see you guys next week. Great thing about we're out here at the farmer's market in Brevard and you'll find all kinds of really good stuff but the great thing about the farmers market is the friends that you meet. Tailgate market is named because of selling the fruiters off the tailgate. Hello my name is Derek Hare. I'm a, a farm in the off season and, and pedal produce at the tailgate market on Saturdays and Sundays. It's the most enjoyable time of my week. I get to see people and meet new people and it's just fun selling food because you know they're going to enjoy it. So uh, uh, y'all get out to these tailgate markets and support all these local farmers and, uh, and come out and buy this local product. It's a lot fresher than any shit. I ain't much of a movie star. But... And this is all you're producing? Yes, so it comes off the farm. Straight off the farm. Jimmy Nixon. Say that again? Jimmy Nixon Signs Farms in Edneyville, North Carolina. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. My name is Donna Maney. I do crafts. I do uh, basically handmade jewelry. And I also prepare uh, Henry Perry. And I make uh, crochet, I make hats for different ones. I make uh, scrubbies to keep the pots clean with. Um, all kinds of crafts really, but basically it's jewelry. I deal in Swarovski crystals, sterling silver, gold field, and uh, natural made beads. It's a hobby that I've picked up. I do home health in between. I do the hobby because it really helps me stay stimulated. It's good for stress, and it's uh, something that I picked up in my later years, which I think is going to come in handy when I retire. And um, hopefully I can pick it up and do a lot more when I retire, which is a very good thing. There's a lot of us doing it. A lot more people should get into it. I enjoy doing things with my hands, especially my jewelry. 
I enjoy doing crystals, working with my crystals in different colors. And I, I make jewelry to uh, match anything that you wear. And I'm working with some silvers now, so it's be a new line of silvers. And um, I make the bracelets and the rings and the silver. And um, I have some added items like wreaths. These are my very first bracelets I learned how to do. These have uh, have uh, fire polished crystals in them. And it's like three different layers. You start with your base and you do the uh, flower type bead. And then you get to the end and you come back and you do your little sterling silver bead that goes in between. And then you come back and then meanwhile you're putting on your toggles. Then you come back and you do your silver lined crystals on top. You can either do a V shape or you can do an X shape. And you can do them in different colors. You can do them in burst stones. You can do them in uh, like uh, for, for a man and wife, boyfriend, girlfriend. You can do them for a daughter, daughter, mother. How, how do mother. people get a hold of you if they'd like to contact you for some of your, your um, jewelry? I have a business card. I have some cards. How, how would they contact you if they're seeing you on TV? They're seeing me on TV. They would contact me as 828-884-2500. Uh, and you already said your name. Yes, my name is Donna May. Cool. Thank you, Donna. You're welcome. My email address is wildandcrazy at sitcom.net. You're on. I'm on what? You're on camera. No! Now come on, tell everybody. How did you How did you do last week at band competition? Uh, we won. We got first place out of our division, the AAA conference. And um, horn line, drum line, and all of our placement in the band, we got first place and our drum major got third. Cool. So do you have any more competitions coming up? Uh, this Saturday, this coming Saturday, we're going to Western Carolina University to compete with yet another bunch of bands. and. Uh, if we win out of the first competition, we stay for another set of competitions. It's a lot of fun. Cool. Now, as you see, she doesn't stop working. It runs in the family. Her mother doesn't stop working either. This is Brinsley. I met Brinsley when I was out here selling my wares. And Brinsley, I think, is one of the youngest that are out here. So would you like to tell people uh, what you do? Go ahead. Well, I make jewelry. I make necklaces, a little bit of thumb rings, earrings, these wraparound bracelets, and bracelets, a lot of bracelets, as you can see. And I've been making them for... I guess you could say a couple of years, and um, I started selling them at the Humane Society. I volunteered there, and I did a whole bunch of stuff for them there, and they let me sell my bracelets there. And so then I had a garage sale, and I had some, I had some of this over there, and a lady told me about the tailgate market. So now. <laughs> and what do you plan to do in the future? I want to have my own bead store and um, sell all of this there. And um, I don't have a lot of money saved up yet, but I'm hoping that that's what I can do. But that's because you keep investing back into your business. And that's all part of how it grows. <laughs> Thank you, Brinsley. Thank you. Thank you.
My name is Janet Hamilton. Um, I'm an LPN, but I'm taking the summer off from nursing because nurses do get burned out. And we used to come and visit the tailgate market, and then I thought, well, how nice it would be if I could make something and, and sell it and be able to enjoy the company of all these other folks. So um, I love to bake. Baking is my passion next to nursing. And so I thought it'd be kind of nice if I could make some breads and sell it, and the, it has gone up very well. Um, I have a lot of regular customers that like my breads, and sometimes if I have any left over, I'll have samples for the following week, and it just makes my heart feel so good when somebody takes a bite of my bread and says, oh, that's so good, you know, and then to get feedback from people that say that, oh, they, they've had it and they just want it every week and they really enjoy it, so it's really good. I, I love making the bread, and I'm glad to be able to be here and to be with all these other wonderful people. It's really nice. And I will attest to her, her bread because her bread is simply delicious. Awesome bread! Thank you. Bread lady. Get here early. She sells out. You're not here by 11. You don't get many choices. That's it. I mean, as you can see, I've been poking around here recording everybody. And um, there's not as large a selection to choose from. But it doesn't matter what you choose because everything is always good. Thank you. This, this is Crystal Stand, and she sells for these small, limited orchards. And as you see, she has a large variety. So she comes out and she sells the apples, and she also sells the produce from some of the local farmers who just have small but extra to sell to the public. My name is Michael Samich. Um, my wife does um, catering and we are Wild Indigo Catering. Um, right now we're doing the farmer's market selling uh, baked goods and some gardening stuff from our garden like herbs and uh, lettuce and um, dandelion greens and we buy most of our um, ingredients from the local farmers here in town and we use them in our um, baked goods and um, we're starting a company that's going to be doing catering, but it's not um, really started yet, but we're starting to get some business with doing the catering, and my wife is going to be doing it full time. I have a separate job, and I help her on the weekends, um, which I enjoy doing with the baking and selling here at the farmer's market and get to work and see the whole community here um, in Brevard. And, and as you can see by the empty baskets, if you come at the end of the day, this is what you're going to find because they do a fantastic business because their food is fantastic. So they are out here and they also have the coffee and, and the tea and, and all kinds of goodies. So if people want to get a hold of you, how are they going to get a hold of you? Um, you can call us. Um, we have a website, uh, Wild Indigo Catering. I can't remember the dot net or whatever it is. I need to look at something. Okay, so they can contact us at wildindigocatering at gmail.com or um, you can call us at 884-6286. And that's 828 area yes. code. Cool. Thank you. You're welcome. <coughs> uh, my name is Walter Hill. Uh, I'm a retired architect who couldn't stand retirement, so I went into the wood turning business. And I've been turning wood uh, since then. And I enjoy it very much, but the the what I really like to do is turn wet wood. Wet wood. When I finish with it, it's a, it's in a perfect round. Uh, but Mother Nature takes over. If it's wet and it won't crack, it'll warp. It'll, it'll look at the top of that hole. 
it's not, it, uh, when look at this, it's not round anymore. And I just think it's nice to have Mother Nature have the last word on what happens to a tree. Okay. <laughs> Always oh, good. How about you, Truly? How about the Look at that. Slice to the soft line of peaches. Uh oh. That means I better get some today, huh? It's a last to the soft line of peaches. This is Truly. <laughs> How long have you been doing this, Truly? Nine years. Wow. I started this lot nine years ago up at the telephone office lot. And then they moved us down here. So, so it ain't a long time. What all what all do you sell? I sell all kind of vegetables, well, beans, tomatoes, peppers. And uh, and, and and I'm waiting for the most important. Yeah, fly cut flowers. He always has such beautiful flowers, and the bees always love his flowers too. I have quite a few photographs of his of his flowers with the bees on them. <laughs> so how long are you gonna stay out here, Truly? How long? Yeah. Fifteenth of October. Oh, a couple more weeks, huh? Yeah, a couple more weeks. And then they it gets too cold? To extend it. They want to extend it two more weeks. I don't know for sure whether we will or not. We're thinking about it. Go. Cool. Thank you. It'll be through next month. Well, thank you, Truly. At the farmer's market, you can find all kinds of good stuff. <laughs> Hello, how are you? You don't know? Oh, I don't know. Look at that face. This is face I'm born with. How you doing? You're making it good today. Yeah. How long have you been out here at the tailgate market? Since 4:30. This morning? Yeah. Wow. I didn't come early. Oh, that's why your face is froze. Yeah, it was a little chilly, wasn't it? 42 degrees. 42 degrees? Well, uptown they said it's 41. Wow. On scale up front. Okay, I'm shutting my sweater. <laughs> I didn't realize it was that cold. So what all do you sell out here? Uh, money. Oh, he sells money? That yeah. grows on trees too? Uh, well, you, you, can, you can sell dollar bills for 50 cents all day long here. Oh. Yeah, people buy anything. Yeah. You can so, sell quarters for a nickel. Quarters for a nickel? Wow. Got, got a line up then, huh? Yeah. yeah. There's a line of people. Yeah. Can't keep the quarters. Can't keep the quarters in? <laughs> so how many years have you been out here selling selling your wares? 20 years. 20 years? Wow. Yeah, I started this thing 20 years ago up at the telephone company. Uh-huh. Yeah. Some of the young sports came in six, eight years later. They claim they started. <laughs> they don't even know when I started. Yeah. So this is your your profession then. Yeah, I'm a professional hustler. Yeah. <laughs> people, some people call me just professional liar. Hustler, hustler sounds better. Yeah. Well, he he hustles up some really good deals. Let me tell you. He's also out here on Fridays. They have a flea market on Fridays. Yeah, yeah. And I'll tell you what, he always has a lineup for his things on on Fridays too. And your son-in-law, he's the one who has the bees for the honey? Nephew. Nephew? Nephew, that's the one? Yeah. So yeah, uh, if you want some uh, blueberries or, or honey or, or mums, gotta come on down and say hi at least. Oh, and remember, don't forget those quarters for a nickel. Yeah, quarters for a nickel. Oh, listen.
that's fox gray. And over here we have red. Hey, Red, how are you? Pretty good, are you? Oh, usual, always good. So how long have you been out here selling your wares? Since 5 o'clock. Oh, you've been here since 5 o'clock? Oh, so you were second, huh? Oh, I see that you're growing a little bit of stubble on your, your chin. Yeah. That's for the winter? Yeah. Keep your face warm? Yeah. Yeah. So how many years have you been out here selling your wares? Uh, I've been here, Lord, probably 15 years. 15 years? Yeah. And what'd you do before that? I worked at a telephone company. We've done carpenter work, We've done hotline work. <laughs> and your your walking sticks that you have, you do those also? How's that? Your walking sticks, do you make those also? Yes, yes, Sam. Uh, These are his walking sticks. I got a guy that's supposed to come and get some today, but I don't know where he will or not. Well, hopefully he will. Yeah. Why, thank you, Red. You're welcome. <laughs> hey, look who it is. And what happened to the band competition? Or were you just telling me that last no, she's week? she's got to go. Oh, you still have to go? She has to be at the high school at 12. Oh. Form at 4? Yeah, sure. <laughs> what do you play? Huh? What do you play? At Inca High School. What instrument? No, what instrument? Tuba. She did trumpet for three years. Middle school. Tuba. They needed tubas yeah. when she got in high school, so she switched. <laughs> so how are you guys doing? Good. Good. And how many years have you been out here selling your wares? Just a couple of years. <laughs> Just a couple of them? Yeah. They always have all kinds of goodies too. Everybody here has all kinds of goodies. What kind of pumpkin do you need? Or pumpkin. Get her pumpkin. They're great. Aren't they? Or you call them squash. I guess you really got to call them squash. Yeah, they're all in the squash family. <laughs> oh, see, we're going to learn something today. These are all in the squash family. They are not pumpkins. Would they be gourds also? or? They are pumpkins. They are pie pumpkins. These them are pie pumpkins? Sweet and uh, regular squash. $2.80. Ooh, cool. Do you, do you bake too? Uh, what can we throw yeah. in to make it $3? <laughs> yeah? And what all do you bake? You can get you another tomato. Or... You can make any of them. I wouldn't recommend the I'm talking, I'm talking to you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> this year all I've baked is the Blue Hubbard. The what? The bluer gray squash. Uh huh. That's all I baked this year. And what'd you bake? Pumpkin? Pumpkin Just put pie? Just in the oven and made a pumpkin and dished it out and put some brown sugar and cinnamon in it. Oh yeah? Yeah. What, you put the whole thing in? Yeah. You just put the whole thing in the oven. Yeah, cut it in half and let it get fork tender and just eat it. Oh yeah, which one's that? Which pumpkin did you? The blue hubbard. The blue one. The blue one? Yeah. This right here. These are the blue hubbards. This is a kershaw. These are, this is candy roasters. And they're all uh, good to eat. They're less stringy than the regular pumpkin. Oh, you hear that? <laughs> this is coming from the experts here. No, no, no. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. She, she's too humble, too modest. Hey, hey, how are you? Hey, you know, he was selling quarters for nickels down there. Oh, really? Yeah, and he was selling dollars for 50 cents. Oh. You guys got any specials like that? <laughs> we'll find some. This is Cleo and Carol. When I was first out here, Cleo was one of the first ones who made me feel at home. <laughs> so yes, they are definitely special people that come out here. Among the best. And Cleo is always doing her jams and jellies and, and she has all kinds of other good stuff here as you can see. Yep. Always making something new.
Here we have some Japanese maples. And you grow? Seedless and graft on to them and bring them on. Yeah? Cool. And you are? Norman Nichols, Nichols Nursery. Nichols Nursery. Oh, cool. Over here in Brevard? Well, we're from East Flat Rock, but we come over here. They invite us to come over. So. Oh, okay. There we go. Can we read that? Nichols Nursery. You can have a card. Cool. I'm working on some footage. It came back on. Now, how do you explain that? Because you pointed it at me. Oh, it there is. it was. Yeah, See, I had put it on earlier, and, and it didn't work. And he said it was because I, I pointed it at him. But then I turned it off and turned it back on, and it, it worked. Yeah. So how are you? Good. How are you this morning? Usual. Always good? That's good. So you want to tell the people a little bit about you and what you do? Well, I am a gourd artist. I carve, paint, and stain gourds. Um, Many different designs. Um, what would you? What do you think your people would like to know? Um, the different different techniques. Uh, well, there are several different techniques. If you look here, there's an etching that we do. Um, we etch out the outside layer, so you have well, the lighter color is actually the natural color under the skin. And then we also do some carving. Um, this right here is pyro engraved, which is a wood burning technique. And let me set my coffee down. And then you also have a carving here that is all hand carved with a gouge. This is not it has no power tools involved on it. Um, with, and I will attest to that because I was here when I saw her uh, gouging it. So yeah, and she does this. Did this one. And then also, we have some carvings that are done like this. And these are, this is done with a rotary type tool or a Dremel tool. Um, they do have specialized rotary type tools for boards. Now you can see how it's, how it's carved out in yes, there. Yes, you can look inside and see. That wasn't black inside of it. That was that was carved out. Now, did you do that one? Yes, I did that one. Okay. I did the uh, carving and kind mm -hmm. of as to this one. This one has the most steps in it that we do. Um, of course, it's drawn on. Then we paint it. Then we etch in the veins on the leaves. Then we put a stain over the whole thing. Then we carve out in between the leaves. And then we put a polyurethane on it, and we also paint the inside. So how many hours would you say that, that took to, to do something like that? It takes about six to six to six to seven hours to do. And that's one because of you guys have been doing this for a long time. Exactly. So if you're exactly. a newcomer and you're thinking about trying something like that, it's going to take you at least double that. It's going to take you 12 to 14 hours, if not longer. Yeah. yeah. So that way but you I've can been appreciate doing these for the, 10 years. the price. Well, there you go. I've been doing these for 10 years. So there you it go. Really doesn't, it doesn't take me as long. I've learned the tricks involved. Yeah. Um, but we do different styles. Um, Angie likes the little fairies and things of that nature. And I love the Native American art. Um, and, and, and where can they find you besides over here at the, uh, at the actually, farmer's market? Actually, this is pretty much it. This is where we set up, um, mainly because of time. Uh, both of us have full-time jobs, so we you know, just mainly come here. Yeah, and yeah. we are in, in Brevard, in Brevard at, at the tailgate. tailgate market. There we go. Yeah. There we go. And your name is? I am Melinda. This is and, Melinda. Uh, Melinda McCall and my daughter Angie also is my partner in this. Cool. Now, one other thing we do carry are these lamps. These are made from trees that have had vines grow around them, and they're a choking vine, mm -hmm. and the vine cut is causes the tree to twist and then my <laughs> husband takes and peels the bark off of them and makes lamps out of them. So that's cool. something else that we carry. Cool. You you have very beautiful work. She has quite a lot of people who are always here. 
And and you've also had your work in different galleries. Yes, you've I have. put put your work in I have had them in different galleries and uh, different we've done different arts and craft shows and stuff of that nature. Um, everywhere from Maryland uh, down uh, South Carolina. Yeah. Um, but mostly we stay right here on the East Coast. Cool. cool. Well, good luck with your work. And we will probably see you next spring. Uh, yes, we will. Cool. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Now, we were just talking about it possibly as being extended. Right. We're talking about extending the tailgate market. Um, through December 22nd, it would be extending at eight weeks. Um, but after October 27th, it would be Saturdays only. Okay, and, and the hours our hours are? would be from 10 a.m. to 2. Cool. When it's a little bit warmer out. When it's a little warmer out. <laughs> yeah, this early morning thing's a little chilly, but we deal with it, um, and we have a lot of fun. It's a good group of people out here. I'll, I'll second that one. Yeah, it's definitely group. family. Well, yeah, we have. We've become a family. Yeah. And we've only been doing this for about six weeks now. Wow, is that all? That's all. That's wow. all. We've been coming down here. Yeah. And, um, you know, we make friends very fast. Yeah. yeah. Well, they, they just welcome you here. They do. They welcome you. It's, it is a very family, um, you know, good group. Good way to support your local economy. That's it. And that's what it's all about. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, <laughs> the uh, first weekend in June uh -huh. every year over in Cherokee at the fairgrounds, uh -huh. uh, downtown Cherokee, there is a gourd artist gathering. And you access the gathering um, through the internet. It's uh, gourdgathering.net. Um, they offer classes um, to wear, and I've been teaching over there. Um, they offer 80 different kinds of classes. Altogether, there's 120, so several are repeated. Um, it's a four-day weekend, and just all kinds of people come from all over the country. Uh, I taught people from Canada and from California and Oregon, uh, right in Cherokee. Wow, so that's really cool. It's, and you have everything from uh, gourd farmers, and we had uh, the Wellborn Gourd Farm comes out, and they're from California, and come out and bring gourds to the to that show just to sell uh, the raw gourds before anything's done to them. Right. And uh, then you have your artists and just everything that is involved with gourds is at that show. Cool. So if a beginner is interested in getting you into in, that, is you the get time onto to go. the website uh -huh. and sign up for their emails. They'll email you when they have their classes ready, and you sign up for the class, and then. And the classes are very reasonably priced. Um, usually it's whatever materials are involved, and then the instructor usually only gets about $10 per class. Wow. So, your, uh, cost so you're doing is very it for the low. love of it. Exactly. And Gord Artists share. Uh -huh. We share a lot of our techniques and a lot of our ideas. So, and it's a lot of fun. Well, so, there you go. Yeah. If you're interested in it, be sure to check it out. And where where is that again? It is uh, the website is gourdgathering.net, mm -hmm. and it's the first weekend in June uh, in Cherokee, North Carolina. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Oh, usual, always good. So, what do we have today? I've got a tooth missing right in the middle of my mouth. So. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Yeah. So I don't want to smile. So you don't want to smile. Oh, well, we're not going to talk about how many I have missing, and hey, well, that's just me. Uh -huh. Well, well, <laughs> hey, you're not the only one. I'm sure there's other people throughout the, mm -hmm. out the world who, who are, are in the same, so they can relate. You got it. So you guys have come up here from, from a little bit warmer weather. Oh, yes, absolutely. It's this a is whole so, lot different. <laughs> oh, it feels so good. It feels so good. We love it. Yeah, it is gorgeous up here. So you guys have all kinds of uh, spices and, and herbs, herbs and yep. cooking herbs and yep. stuff. And all, all mixtures. Make rubs and dips and seasonings. Things like that. Yeah, and you've been out here for how long? How long have you been selling here at the market? Yeah. 
Well, you've been selling at the market for a long time, only Most, not, not yeah. always here. Uh, yeah, we've been doing this for five years. Uh, here at this market, we started in uh, June. In June? Mm -hmm. And you've met a lot of good people, I'm oh, sure. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the most fun with these things, the people you meet. Yeah, okay. and, and you're going to keep coming back as long as it's open this season? <laughs> You'll yes, be I back am. here? Yes, I am. So people can come down to the Brevard tailgate market? Mm -hmm. and, and Most of my products sell best at late season. The holiday season? Mm -hmm. For the holidays. <coughs> Absolutely. So, okay. Trader Burke's provisions for for purveyors of unique and interesting herbs and spice mixes. I've had this lady's bread and it is delicious. Ooh, free samples. Wow. This was a loaf that I didn't sell last week, so it was in my refrigerator. My neighbor here says it was still pretty moist. And I put all sorts of spices. All righty. All right. And we are here with Blue Ridge Shrimp. And Susan Laramore and Bill Mitchell. Cool. And tell us more about you and, and what do you do? And Well, we, uh, uh, we're basically uh, in, in the business of providing fresh shrimp to mountain folks. <laughs> we, uh, we, we go to the coast uh, once a week and, uh, and pick up shrimp, uh, take them to our house, and we'll process them out and weigh them into one pound bags and bring them down here to. Uh, uh, Spread out, you know, around the tailgate barn here. So we go to the uh, Bill drives every Thursday to McClellanville, South Carolina, which is about 35 miles north of Charleston, the Bulls Bay area, and we get shrimp. And this week, this is the last week of September, shrimp are running about 22 to the count. They're beautiful, white, fresh, wild caught Atlantic shrimp, and we do put them in half pound packages and pound packages. Um, the price is running right now about $12 a pound. I don't see it going up much more than that for the rest of the season, but they are beautiful. We have recipes, and then Mr. Bill across the way has some spices to put on your shrimp. Shrimp's a good way to fight fat and keep American shrimpers working, and um, this way you know where your shrimp comes from. Now, this is uh, a family project, I'm, I'm um, my daughter married a young man from McClellanville, and it's actually um, Rutledge Leland, and he is um, owner of Carolina Seafood, and that's where Bill goes every week, and he owns trawlers, and we get our shrimp right off the trawlers. So there you go. Yep, it's a family thing. I, I guess you guys are the middleman? Yeah, we're the middleman. We're bringing the fresh shrimp from Charleston to the mountains. Cool. Well, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you thank for you. the opportunity to share our product, because once you try it, you'll never go back. And here we are with Pat. Yes. And how are you today, Pat? I'm doing very well. How and about yourself? Oh, usual. Always good. Now, tell the people what all you have and uh, what you do and all that good stuff. Okay. Well, I do uh, farmstead dairy goat cheese, which means that um, the cheese is made from milk from our own animals. That's what farmstead means. And I typically do fetas and chefs of different varieties, spreads and crumbles, and uh, some other um, some other varieties as well. And I do some uh, confectionaries, fudges and cajetas and things like that. And uh, I do a couple of fresh markets. This is one of them. Um, that I do on Saturday morning. I do another one on Thursday evening. Um, and then I do it in uh, a, a few wholesale outlets as well. And what are the advantages to buying the goat cheese products? The goat cheese products, health for one. Um, typically it's known as a gourmet health food product. So it's... Um, it's good health... for you and it's gourmet. Exactly right, yes. No, it's very good. It's a close. The milk itself is the closest thing to our own milk, so it provides some very special benefits to our system. And um, anybody that has traveled overseas or other places really knows the benefit of the flavor and um, what that lends to in uh, 
your normal day-to-day. Uh, -day. It's, it's very good for you. It's, it's a very amazing product. Well, thank you, Pat. You're welcome. Blue Ridge Shrimp, we're at the Tailgate Market in Brevard on Saturday mornings. Otherwise, you can call our home number, 828-877-3039. 828-877-3039. That's our number, our home number. We live here in Pisgah Forest. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And here she is again. Yes, I'm and, helping and, out and, and this is and this is what <laughs> I'm helping out Crystal at Rainbows um, and Rainbows End. Pets. Yeah, she has yeah, Rainbows End pet, pets. Rainbows and, and right, so she's, she's away she's at a, here, she's away at a bird show this weekend, and we're helping her out with selling her mountain apples. Come on and get some. And and this is how much of a family it is because yes. they do it all the time. We love being here. I'll be the goat lady next week. I'm helping out the goat lady, and probably maybe you know whoever. We all help each other and look out for each other and try to enhance each other's products. So that's that's it. Fun place that's why you should stop down and right. see them sometime. We'll look out for you. That's it. <laughs> We're here to delight you. Thank you. <laughs> this is Renee Bruce. Um, I have a business called the Pink Rose Emporium. I do uh, baking out of my certified kitchen, and I also do craft items. And uh, my product was sold out at a fruit stand, a produce stand, this past summer, and they closed, so I'm looking for other markets right oh. now. The local no. coffee house, Quotations, is beginning to carry my large danishes. And I started making mini danishes. And I'm getting advice from SCORE. The Brevard Chamber of Commerce has got a SCORE group, which is retired businessmen that are assisting me and expanding my business. And I've also taken a course over at AB Tech, the Anka campus, where they have the incubator kitchen. And I'm learning information on product labeling and packaging. And uh, my last class is next week, and I hope to get some advice on my packaging and uh, labeling so I know how to better market my product. Okay, and how can people find you if they're looking for you other than coming to the tailgate market? I've got uh, business cards, and again, I'm trying to find other outlets within Brevard. I've contacted several local um, restaurants to see if they want to carry my product, especially for the... Um, um, Sunday brunches that they have. Okay, and your phone number for them to contact you? My phone number is a cell number. It's 828-577-3496. Cool. Thank you. Whoa. Hi. And would you like to tell the people who you are and what do you do? Well, I'm Carol and I'm a craft vendor. I, and I make homemade breads also. I make um, hanging Christmas uh, towels for all seasons. Um, dish cloths, um, slipper socks, handbags, key rings. Um, I do canvas art. Um, I make ponchos and blankets. Basically, I make something for everybody in the family. And so therefore, we've dubbed our little crafting thing all in the family crafts, which is kind of unusual because there's like three generations worth of crafts craftsmanship in what we do here with our stuff. Cool. So this isn't just all of your wares? These are well, my all daughter, in the family? My daughter makes the key rings and she also does the canvas art. Okay, the, the bag? Her and I work on the bags together. Oh. Um, we make breads together. A lot of it's togetherness. It's our time to be together and um, we've done that since she was about four so we've been doing you know craft shows and tailgate markets and whatnot for quite a few years now I think she's 20 now but uh, we've had a lot of fun doing this uh, a family that plays together stays together yeah that, that kind of concept. Cool. Um, we try to keep our prices reasonable so that way everybody can afford them. And where can people find you at? Um, either here at the tailgate market or um, through uh, various shows that I do here in Brevard. In the Brevard area? Yeah.
Thank you. Thank you. A little windy today. People are chasing their their belongings. But as you see, you can find all kinds of really neat stuff at a tailgate market. So the next time you drive past a sign that says tailgate market or farmers market, and for whatever reason you think that it is, things might not always be as it seems. Did you ever think that you would see Christmas things with island music? That's the variety that you'll find at the tailgate market. No problem, man. Everything is beautiful. I forgot to shave, though. That's all right. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Um, you forgot to shave? Yeah, and, uh, and, and what's the deal with your hair? Oh, and I forgot to comb it, too. Oh, well. For, it's been a couple of days now. So. Yeah, just a couple of days? Yeah, but I think it, it's gonna, it'll work itself out, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> uh, so, who are you? Oh, I'm Ed Stevens. Uh, let's see. Grew up in, I mean, I'm from Atlanta. I grew up in Virginia Beach and lived in the Outer Banks and moved over all over the place for a while. And came out here for a festival a couple of years ago and haven't left since. Would that have been Bonnaroo? No, no, actually for a little bluegrass festival out in Toxway. Oh, a little bluegrass festival. And, I, and then I moved to Asheville for maybe six, nine months, something like that, and then actually moved back out to where the festival was, which is out in Boston Grove, which is tiny little place out. Uh, beautiful, know. beautiful, beautiful little hideaway. Oh, I wouldn't bother, don't go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they don't want anybody to know about yeah, it because no. it's beautiful there. Don't uh, let them fool you. So what all, what all do you have? Uh, well, let's see, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a chef and a, and a gardener, I guess, as you can tell. Um, I enjoy, I, I, I guess, I might, I guess you could say my passion is food from everywhere from growing it to preparing it and everything in between. And these are organic, yes, grown? Yes, ma'am. Everything is good. Cool. Nothing, nothing but... Somebody's stuff, huh? Good, rich garden dirt and fresh mountain rainwater. So if you're wondering where your food comes from, uh, I guess that dirt means that it's uh, from the ground, huh? Yeah, I say don't be, don't be scared of dirt. <laughs> what does they say? God made dirt and dirt don't hurt. Well, there you go. That's true. There you, you go. Know, I, I, I purposely like um, handle my produce as little as possible. Mm -hmm. um, I don't, I don't, most of the stuff, I mean everything I wipe down, but most of the stuff I don't bother like washing it off, wiping it down, brush scrubbing it clean and stuff like that because that's just, you want your food to be as fresh from the ground as you possibly can. You know, so I pulled these up yesterday evening, they're on the table today. Same with these. And the stuff is, it, the taste is, I mean. There's nothing like organic food, yeah, the you, taste of it. Once, once you have organic, yeah, it's, it's, just, it's, it's, a, it's a difference. Like that, that corn, you can't go and buy corn like that at Ingles. You can't, right. you can't buy produce like this at Ingles. I mean, some stuff may be cheaper, and that's sometimes people give me a rash about that. That oh, I can go to Ingles and get that for 69 cents. Yeah, but you know, you don't know where that's coming from. You don't know what's been put on that stuff. You don't know. You just you just don't know where it's coming from. And also think about the amount of oil that it's used to ship radishes from wherever the heck they grow radishes to Brevard, North Carolina, to put them on the Ingles shelf. And that's just irresponsible to me, I think. But, so, and then we got apple pies here. Fresh apple pies made from apples from Crystal down the way. Trying to, you know, keep the community together, support the community. Small stuff, that's what we got to work towards. And that's what it's all about. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah.